Most of the city's elite high schools, a single test score is critical to the application process. But at the city's top performing arts high school, it's auditions that have mattered most. That is until now. We're talking about Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School. And now insiders say a new academic standard is causing that school to reject some of the city's best young performers. News Force Chief Investigative Reporter Jonathan Deans has the details in this iTeam exclusive. Teachers, students, and alums tell us a perfect audition score at LaGuardia can be like winning a medal at the Olympics. But its current principal has raised the academic bar, creating a debate. Should and do audition scores now play second fiddle to academics? My goal was to go to LaGuardia. Natalie Santiago is a dancing phenom, currently performing with Janet Jackson. Her mission since age 11 was to get into LaGuardia. I had my heart set on that and I just, I kept training. Natalie says then she received that crucial letter from the school. I was denied at LaGuardia and my heart sank to my stomach. One insider tells us that in 2014, Natalie achieved a 100 in her audition, equivalent to world-class potential. She didn't know until we told her. I knew that I did really, really well. I didn't think that I did that well to score a, 100, a perfect score. Since 2013, the Performing Arts School has been led by Principal Dr. Lisa Mars. She now has tougher academic standards for acceptance. Multiple sources inside LaGuardia tell us that if a middle school student has a 79 or lower in English, math, science, or social studies, they're not even considered, even if, like Natalie, they score a 100 on their audition. Absences and tardiness also a factor. I remember that I had 10 absences, and that's when I was like, it has to be that. The Fame High School inspired the 1980s hit movie. The school was founded with an emphasis on the performing arts. Alumni include Robert De Niro, Liza Minnelli, Nicki Minaj, and Ben Vereen. Don't do that to our young people, please. Please. Vereen told us it was his talent, not his grades, that took him from Bed-Stuy to LaGuardia High and future stardom. If this stand was in place when I was a student, I would have never made it. LaGuardia was founded under a state law known as Calandra Hecht. It states that acceptance into LaGuardia requires academic evidence of satisfactory achievement. The idea is to help our young people, to give them the tools that they need in order to live a wonderful, creative, prosperous life. For choreographer Anthony Rue, LaGuardia did just that. He auditioned for the dance department in 1995, but under a different principle. My oldest sister was murdered that year. As a result, his grades suffered. There was no way I was making it in. Anthony caught a break. He says a dance teacher saw his talent first, grade second. We came to the agreement and they allowed me to start the next day as an enrolled student in LaGuardia High School. Anthony went on to perform with Jay-Z, P. Diddy, and Madonna. The Department of Education Overview stresses LaGuardia's dual mission, providing a balanced educational experience that includes both conservatory-style training and a rigorous, comprehensive academic program. Diversity at the school has not significantly changed since Dr. Mars took office in 2013. Dr. Mars declined repeated requests for an interview with the I-Team. But several talented students approached us, saying they felt bad for some great performers who did not get in, compared to lesser performers with better grades who did. I had a friend who was amazing and we both auditioned on the same day and she did not get in. Why? Because she had one seat. It is a place for actors and artists and dancers and musicians and it sucks that our principal wants to change that. This is horrible. We showed Ben Vereen a list of students who were rejected for having less than an 80 in middle school, including some who scored 100 in their audition. No, they, these are people. These are children, goddammit. This is our tomorrow. We reached out to the New York City Department of Education for response to the concerns expressed in this report. As of now, they have not provided comment. Jonathan Deanst, News 4 New York. Thank you for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can subscribe by tapping the button below me. And on the left, you can see our latest updates, investigations, and digital exclusives. We'll see you next time.